Hi, welcome to the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and it's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. I think you're going to find this a very interesting little presentation. As a floral school, we're constantly on the lookout for new devices, new approaches, and new techniques. The reason is they make the life of the floral designer much easier, more interesting, and enable us to meet customers' needs in a far more effective way. So we're always looking for these things to pass on to our students and also to our graduates. Well, imagine how happy we were when we found this one. This is a very, very neat thing. This is something that has come out recently. It's called Floral Box. Floral Box. And it's a very, very interesting device. It is a box that is also a container. And it is a very, very interesting product. We think that it's really kind of neat. Now, the first reaction that I had when I saw these was, oh my god, some assembly required. Now, my family and friends know that when it comes to assembly, that's the last thing that I want to do with anything. And yet, this is really a neat product to work with because it gives the assembly instructions very, very easily. It even has it marked. It says first, so I'm going to turn this over first, and then after first, I look at this, it has some other pieces here. It says second, so we're going to turn this one over here, second. This one says third, and then this one says fourth, and all I have to do is basically take this and push it in here like so, and this becomes the bottom of my box. And then I have a few other things that we have to do. We have some little things to fold over here and here and here and here and all the way around like so. And then once we fold these things in, we can basically just kind of push them all together like this. I think this is really, really cool. And as I tell my students and my friends, if I can put this thing together, Anybody can put these things together, and it's a very, very neat device from that point of view. So I'm just taking these little flaps, folding them in like so, and then to secure it, we take an elastic band or two and place it around here. Now, of course, the next question that you probably have, my viewer, is having done that, how do we make sure that water doesn't come out? Well, these things come complete with a little plastic bag. I could have added the plastic bag a minute earlier, but I'm choosing to place it at this point in the design. And notice that I can place it in here. It fills the thing very, very nicely. And now I am ready to go as far as my designing is concerned. So you can see that we have a device here that essentially it's kind of cool. This device becomes both, both a, here we go, I want to make sure this is all done. This device becomes a container and it also becomes a means of transport. I think this is pretty cool because this kind of thing does double duty. It enables us to transport flowers, but it is a substitute for a glassware or other kind of container. In other words, all we have to do at this point is pour our water in here, design as we normally would, and we have a nice effect. Now, I would cover the elastic here very, very simply by just simply tying a bow onto it. Quick, easy. This definitely reflects the Rittner Floral School idea of floral design. Just so you get an idea, I know that watching me putting together a box is not all that interesting, but I wanted you to see just how easy these things are to assemble. Let's show you some completed pieces using this because this is really cool. Look, we can take this and they come in about a half a dozen colors. They come in about a half a dozen colors. Now, doesn't that look more interesting? I know watching me putting this together is all good and fine, but let's actually see one of these things and notice that now we've got the elastic covered with a little bit of our ribbon. This, they come in about a half a dozen colors and they come in different sizes. Here we've got a very, very simple arrangement using a couple of our Bells of Ireland, some of our Mini Gerbera, a few Fujis, uh, some tulips in here, Baker Fern, um, 
some lovely wax flower. It is a lovely little bouquet. And the whole idea is there's water right inside of this. So the box is also the container. Hey, that's really, really cool. Now this is a small one. Let's show you one that happens to be intermediate in size. We've been having a lot of fun with these. Look at this one. This one is a slightly different size. This is small. This one is medium. The medium one, again, it's a beautiful bouquet. And we found that this is just as easy to design with as any water-based media. A couple of Bells of Ireland, some mini carnations throughout this thing. Again, our mini Gerbera, some of our Alstroemeria, some roses, some tulips, Fuji's, a nice mixed bouquet. And then again, it's all in water and it's all easy to transport. Just taking it this way, holding it from the bottom, from the base, there's water already in here. I could see these working very well for a whole variety of different things. For hospitals, for example, where they don't always want loose cuts, they want them arranged. I could see this as an office gift. This would make a great Mother's Day idea, a lovely Easter bouquet, something to send to somebody. I can see this being used in a huge range of capacities. Really, really cool. Well, we've shown you a small one. Here's an intermediate one. And now, like the three bears, let's show you the big one. And once again, holding this from the bottom and then putting this up here. This particular one uses some Snapdragon, Bells of Ireland, Carnations, Alstroemeria, Fuji's, Stock, a lovely, lovely bouquet. So my viewer, what do you think? A pretty cool idea, huh? The concept of a box that becomes a container. It holds water. We just pour water into this, design with it as we normally would, and you come up with some amazing results. Well, my viewer, we've covered a lot in a very short period of time. Once again, we want to thank you for coming in and visiting us here at Rittner Floral School. We'd like to thank the nice folks at Floral Box for sending us uh, some samples that we could share with you. Again, uh, look into this product. We're going to put the, uh, the website right up on the screen for you to see. Thanks again for coming in and visiting with us. This is Dr. Steve Rittner, Rittner Floral School. Thanks for coming in and visiting with us today.